we're gonna be doing another gridlock video that's right guys so make sure you smash that mother oh. like button uh we're gonna be heading into the wilderness today guys and we're gonna be killing some guys for some epic lootations <laughs> Now that I've completed Region 4, I finally have access to Region 5, which sees me unlocking a major piece of content, the Grand Exchange. Last episode saw us completing Dragon Slayer 2 without any deaths, so now we are on our fifth and final region, and our goal is to get a quest cape and unlock the grid. And with a quest cape, I will be able to do Raids 1 and Raids 2, then I'll be able to make enough money for my Infernal Cape, and at that point I will be able to have the strongest PvP account in the entire game. But, for now, I want to be able to actually sell the things that I've had in my bank from the beginning. First of all, just uh, in case, you know, people thought I would actually come to the Grand Exchange. Literally, for whatever reason, I didn't. I didn't come to the Grand Exchange at all. So, there is a lot in my bank. I'm just going to, you know, scroll on through it. You can see whatever I have. I'm going to look through it for a while, see what I can sell, because I have a decent amount of stuff to sell, including those Guthan Spears that I got double of that I literally don't even need. A lot. There's a lot in here that I can sell. Plus, I have my clues, too. I want to be able to do that at some point. Dude, there's just a lot to do, and I'm really excited to actually do it, so... Let's get ourselves a lot of GP, and then we can start questing. I also need to get myself 77 prayer eventually, but 70 prayer. I'm just really excited to do all this, man. Finally, I can go from having a dud crap account to something halfway decent. I'm sure I'm missing something, to be honest, but I'm just going to go ahead and sell everything I have here. I know there's more stuff in my bank. I'll actually get that, too. I'll sell the Slayer Helmet, because I don't really think I need that at all. At least not for a long time. And of course, I can always just buy it back. It's not even imbued. Alright, let's start to sell everything, man. Again, nothing in the history. First price check, already 7.8 mil. Second price check, 11 mil at least. Wow. Third price check, final price check, 13 mil. Dude, that's very nice. Plus, I think I'm gonna sell some of the Barrow stuff that I have because I really don't need it anymore. I could go train right now since I could just buy prayer potions and buy everything I finally need to get. But I think we're just going to dive right into questing and just start off with literally all the quests. Just work our way towards Song of the Elves. Before anything, I actually think I'm going to start off doing all of these clue scrolls first. See if I can get anything from them. I doubt I can complete the master. All right, that's one clue. That's another casket. Another clue. And that one was literally one step. All right, let's see if we get anything worth anything. Nope, 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 and... Oh! Dude! <laughs> Pretty good, I already have these, so I can just literally pop them right back in and sell them, and then I can sell these. Dude, that was pretty decent! So I think there's a few more things that I can do. First, I think I need to build myself two portal rooms. You know, at this point, it's actually worth getting a rune pouch too, so I will go ahead and just get one. Alright, one, two, room one, room two, altar room, and glory room. Altar, and that's glory. And that's all the portals. There's actually a few more I could get, but... It's okay for now. Completed. Completed. Fum bleated. Fum fleeted. So the next quest I want to get done is Fairy Tale Part 2. So I have to get myself at least 46 farming and 57, 56 herb lore so I can just boost to get the stats for that quest to complete the quest. Herb lore ended up costing me a decent amount, but I think that I'll be able to get a decent bit back from it. Then there's farming, which also didn't really cost me that much. Plus, it really shouldn't be that bad. I think it should pretty much just be like two days of runs and I'm there. Like, maybe not even. Here we are. One more herb lore level needed yeah this is gonna be like a bad loss <laughs> oh my gosh this is gonna be such a bad loss all right whatever i'm literally gonna just stick them in there at 304 why not so i got a decent amount more out of my bank so i'm gonna sell everything in here and see how much we get and i'm kind of sad that i'm selling the helm because it's been with me for so long but i really don't need it anymore there we go 4.3 mil Jeez, that is a lot Extra 200k from it. Here we go, 57. I'm eventually going to need to get myself 70 herb lore anyway for Song of the Elves. Alright, that's the last farming level of this run. Alright, so it's finally time to get myself 70 prayer. I've been holding on to this for long enough. I've literally wanted it for such a long time too. So I am just going to get this done by burying them at the Gilded Altar. So here's how we're going to do this relatively fast. I'm going to set my spawn point to Camelot and do this in a PvP world. So once I die from the altar, because I'm just going to continuously suicide, I respawn right here 
here, grab another inventory of bones, and then teleport right out. It'll make it a lot faster. The only thing is I just have to start and do the Knight's Training Ground waves, which I had to do this at some point anyway, so I'll just do it. Here we go. See, the only problem with that is that I got 71 defense, so it looks kind of, you know, like a dumpster fire, but I'm okay with that. Yo, what the heck, man? I'm gonna go kill those guys. Hey, I'm gonna kill you now. <laughs> there we go, man. 70 prayer. I died like six times or something like that. Uh, I guess I'll use the rest of these. Didn't take that long, too, and I actually ended up saving a decent amount of bones. I only really lost like two inventories, and I still saved 100 bones in the end. That's really nice to get out of the way, though, man. I'm super happy to actually have Putty. Plus, I mean, I don't want to look at this, so I'll just buy Preserve, too. Calls like 40k or something like that. I can get it with the remaining bones they have. Yeah, perfect. All right, just got 47 farming out of that. So let's just go and get this quest done so we never have to do it again. This has got to be one of the coolest places that was ever designed. Hey, according to some analytics that I just made up, you guys should subscribe to my channel because I'm trying to reach 300,000 subscribers. Just imagine that. Just imagine me with 300,000 subscribers. What are the odds, right? So since that's going to be the next big goal of mine, you guys are going to hear me begging for subscribers a lot. So how about you just shut me up and subscribe? Hello, my queen. There we go, man. Anyway, let's get back to it. Lundeeded. G-R-I-D-L-O-C-K-E-R. Wait. I don't think that's right. By the way, I just got 70 wood cutting, so I don't ever need to do wood cutting on the account again. Well, I'm going to need Tarn's Diary at some point, so I got that too. Quite a few more quests to go, but as I'm doing it, I'm slowly training up my rune crafting with all of the activities I'm doing. So if I'm lucky, I might not have to train it at all. There's another quest. That's Olaf's quest. That's Rag and Bone Man Part 1. And that's Rag and Bone Man Part 2 done. Uh, yeah, so whoever decided that making a second part to Rag and Bone Man would be a good idea with a 1 in 4 drop rate on... 27 different monsters. Yeah, wasn't that good or funny of an idea? That's Rat Catchers. That's Throne of Miscellanea. That's Royal Trouble. I'm gonna make my cat a Christian. There you go, buddy. That's Tower of Life. That's What Lies Below. That's A Soul's Bane. I hate this quest. That's Spirits of the Elite. I needed 57 for Swan Song, but I got 58 instead. Now we can go do it. That's Swan Song. All right, so next up, I need to get myself 50 rune crafting. And instead of actually rune crafting, I'm going to do all of the achievement diaries that I can to get myself to 50. I feel like that's a more productive use of my time anyway. 46. That's 47 rune crafting. That's 48 rune crafting. That's 49. And there we go. 50 <laughs> rune crafting. The natural way. That's how you actually get 50 rune crafting, okay? Not by actually rune crafting. Rangers. Oh, close. I literally can't stop getting freaking medium clues, dude. I'm trying to do devious minds right now, and I just keep getting medium clues. Yeah, Rangers. Ah, where are they? You know, I really don't need these anymore. I'd rather just get the money for them. Yeah, baby. Plus, I could replace it with that for the fashion scape. See? That's Devious Minds. So, it takes like over an hour to get favor for Lovacang, right? Very, very annoying. Then this quest is very stupid and takes at least half an hour. And what's your reward for it? You get 10% favor. 10%. Go frick yourself. That's the Queen of Thieves done, and let me be honest with you guys. Getting favor is one of the least funny things ever. I hate it. That's a scent of Arcus. Yeah, I've literally killed 350 of these things, so I think I'll just go and get the achievement diary done. I want to get myself the Xerix Talisman, because I'm going to need it eventually. I've been here so long that I have gotten 81 range from this. All right. Finally! Where is it? Thank goodness, dude. Finally freaking got it. I got 66% favor. Wow, never again. Thank God that's all the freaking Xerx quest done. I don't got to do this crap anymore. Man, this world sucks. I hate it. Slowly but surely, we are making our way towards 70 farming. It's just really, really slow, though. Like, really slow. That's Darkness of Hallowville. That's A Taste of Hope completed. Also got a little experience tome. Yeah, put it all on, uh... Yeah, baby! Only five more quests remain. All right, thank God. Never have to mine on this account again. Now all that's left is 66 fire making. There we go, 66 fire making. Guess I'll finish up Winter Todd and start making... 
making uh, making uh, making friends with my arm. So that is the last quest that I have to do before the big four final quests. Well, technically the big last final quest. I still have to get Roving Elves done, Morning's End Part 1, Morning's End Part 2, and then Song of the Elves. For now, I'm just going to get all of these stats that I need for Song of the Elves. So pretty much I just have to move into money making, and I think I have to do Tith Farming, Tithe Farming, whatever it's called, till 70. Yeah, it's going to be fair. All right, so I had enough to get 63, and maybe... Just maybe, if I sell literally all of these, we can literally just keep doing this until 70 or blur. Yeah, so for that many potions, I lost 1.7 mil. Uh, I mean, I could just always make money again. I have, I have Vorkath now, but I'll figure it out. I'll figure out what's the best. Well, if I hate myself, I can always buy 14,759 guams and just make attack potions with the Eye of Newts, but... Uh, I don't want to do that because that's going to take a really long time. So I would just rather figure out what's better and then spend all the money. So out of all of that, I pretty much have a 1 mil cash stack left. And I'm going to get 2.6 mil left from it. So I'll have 3.6 mil, 3.7. Whatever, I guess it's worth it. <laughs> Here we go. Bled all my cash out, but we are finally 70 herblores. So that's one requirement down. Let's get all my strength potions. Okay. Well, we have a decent bit of cash to work with. So all we have left to do at this point is to do some money making, get all of these stat requirements for Song of the Elves, and then finally unlock the grid.